six months or so ago when everybody was talking about this conference and getting excited about it, I was not wanting to come. Yeah, you ready to go to HOA? I am ready. Ready to meet some friends. It's gonna be a beautiful drive. Yeah, it's gorgeous time of year. We'll be driving down south. Down south. We're gonna be staying with a few friends that we've made through YouTube. We got Morgan from Goldshaw Farm. We're staying with Better Together Life, Kelly and Bo Brotherton from Texas, and Blake Kirby. Daddy Curbs. Daddy Curbs. Never have met anybody from YouTube in person, so it'll be really exciting. We have our favorite snacks with us on the road for a road trip. Hippies. Made it to the HOA conference, Homesteaders of America. I actually remember about six months or so ago when everybody was talking about this conference and getting excited about it, I was not wanting to come. I was like, nope, why in the world would we go to a Homesteaders conference? I don't know, I'm gonna do a review where they came from. And they're like, we can make it for four hours Friday, Morgan. Can you hear me okay? Keep that in mind that when I'm talking about these systems and designing your home. The reason I didn't want to go was because, honestly, I was scared of how we, as like plant-based, as vegetarians, as mostly vegan, as people who kind of reject the meat-eating dairy producing side of homesteading, I was scared of how we would be accepted and if this could even be a space where we could exist and be welcomed. In my mind, I just like wrote it off. But then we started making friends. Time to finish before we left, so I brought the design with us. So we and we have Natalie. What's up? And, and my California friend here. Yes, and we have Mountain View. Hi. And what is it again? Little Mountain Life. Okay. Friends. That's all that matters. We started making friends with people who people who had meat rabbits and we started making friends with a duck farmer who raised geese for meat. So it's a oh, start somewhere. <laughs> say hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Warian at Gold Shop Farm. Where you're turning a old to goodness farm. <laughs> old to goodness farm. <laughs> Into what a better it? to newness farm. <laughs> it's gonna be such a good farm. What is it? What is it? What is wait, your wait. like tagline? An old. <laughs> oh, trying to start a farm in Vermont. No, it's like. It's a former dairy farm that we're trying to make. Trying yeah. to start a yeah. farm in Vermont. Yeah, right on the cover photo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even watch the videos? <laughs> Not always. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take right? the button away. <laughs> no, don't take the button. We all have buttons. I'm gonna make shoot some video at some point. Morgan only shoots with pounds. That's good. No, because I don't have the time to edit anything else. Made a close friend with Rose who has dairy goats. So, I'm here with my awesome friend Rose. So we're finally meeting in person. Rose, uh, tell me about your homestead real quick, just so people know. We do mainly goats and different types of poultry and gardens and a little bit of everything, really. Yeah, you like quail, you some ducks. Yep. Chickens. All kinds of things. I made friends with people who have beautiful gardens, but also are not vegetarian at all, not even the slightest. And I realized these people accept me. I accept them. We may not agree. We may not share opinions, but they embrace me. So why am I so afraid of the community as a whole, which is just made up of these people, these people who are my friends. Everything's electric. So the heat is radiant floor and a wood stove. That is <laughs> a wood stove. Um, okay. Sure. Morning, y'all. Morning. What's the goggles for? So, we're doing a blind tomato taste test. Um, you can still see through the sides. That one was homegrown the first one. Woo! Hey! You got this. You know you got this. Okay, now which tomato tastes like disappointment? First one. <laughs> and 
So then I started to realize I don't want to miss out on an opportunity to be with my friends. So I bought tickets. That was probably about five, six months ago. And we're finally here. One person doing it. I am 100% a romantic, poetic, and silly girl that has made an incredible impact in the world because I said that's okay to be that way. It is okay to be that way. And so I, I did. I fell in love with Aaron C. Catalog. You've got to have a mission statement. you got to know where you're going. If you don't know where you're going, you'll never get there.